Hello friends, welcome back to another video on the Firestore series. In this video, we are going to learn how we can update the data on the Firestore. When we click on that button, we will update the data after taking the data from the input field. So first of all, we'll go to the activity main.xml and here we will add another button. So copy this button and paste it below. Now change this btn read to btn update and also change the text update now go to main activity dot java and initialize that button btn update okay when we click on this button we will update the data so here we will set a click listener on that button. So here we will call btn dot set on click listener new on click listener. Okay, now here we will get the data from the input field. So here we will get the data. So first of all we will create int. I will call it id and teacher dot parse int and here we will get the data so input id dot get text dot to string okay now for name input name dot get text dot to string okay now we will create the hash map so if you want to update both fields you can create the hash map so hash map I will call it simply hash map new hash map okay now assign the value to hash map so hash map dot put and again id sorry it is in inverted commas so id now hash map dot put and this time I will add name and simply name okay now we will use same reference that we have used in the previous video this one because we have to update the data on same reference so here we will call ref dot update and here we will pass hash map so simply pass this hash map you can also add on success listener new on success listener and here you can show a toast message okay now also you can add on failure listener new on failure listener So here we will show our exception e dot to string. Now put a semicolon here. So let's run the application. Okay, our application running on this emulator. Let's open our database. And here we will pass another ID. Let's say I type any random ID and random name. Okay, now I will click on this update button and here you can see it's real time updated. Now if you want to update only one field, so you can remove the other line and also recommend this line. There is no need to get the data from the input name. So run the application again. Okay, now this time I will update only ID. So I type any random ID. And click on update as you can see only ID is updated so in this way you can update the data on the file store you can update only single field you can update your whole document so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel thank you